Hi Year 2, I'm going to look at some maths today. I'm going to have a look at some place value, so we'll be finding out about tens and ones and some hundreds numbers as well. I'm going to start with the number 83. It's in our part whole model and we're going to split it so we've got tens on one side and ones on the other. Have a think at what tens number you think could be here and the ones number on this side over here. There's more than one way of doing it, but we're going to look at one together today. So on this side, we've got 80. And then we've got 3. So 80 is 8 tens. And then we've got 3 ones. Let's look at our base 10 and see if we can make the number that way as well. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 81. 82, 83. Brilliant. So we can make 83 using our base 10 and by splitting it into its tens and its ones. So 83 has eight tens. Let's check that to see if 83 does have eight tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens. 83 has eight tens and how many ones does it have? Let's count them together. Count with me. One, two, three ones. So 83 has eight tens and three ones. Brilliant. Let's look at number 67 in our part whole model. So if we've got 67 here and we're going to write the tens in here and the ones in here. Have a little think about what it could be. If you've got somebody next to you, maybe you could whisper it to them. Let's have a look. So we've got 60 is the tens number. And 7 is the ones number. So we've got 60 and 7 makes 67. Fantastic. Let's see if we can make 67 using our base 10. So we've got one 10 here. Two tens, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's check to make sure we've got 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Fabulous. How many ones do we need to make 67? Whisper it to somebody next to you or whisper it to the screen and I might hear you. We need seven. Well done. Let's count seven ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Let's check to make sure we've got 67 with our base 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Fantastic. Let's have a look at our sentence under here. It says 67 has missing number of tens and seven ones. How many tens does 67 have? Look on the part whole model and let's have a look at the base ten. See if you can work it out. It's got one, two, three, four. Five, six, six tens and seven ones. Great work. Let's move on to the next one. Number 49. Let's do the secret reveal again. I bet you can do this straight away now. Which numbers do you think are in going to be in here? See if you've got it. 40 and 9. Fantastic, 49. I'm going to work a little bit harder now. You probably haven't got base 10 at home and I haven't got base 10 at home either. So we're going to draw our base 10 so that we know how to do it if we haven't got them in front of us. So 49. Let's draw four sticks to make 40. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. Brilliant. 
10, 20, 30, 40. How many ones do we need? Nine. Brilliant. I'm going to draw circles. They're a little bit easier than doing squares. So we've got 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And then let's check to make sure that we've got 49 with our base 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Fantastic. So 49 has got... Oh, I went a bit wrong there. Let's press the back button. Has got 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. And how many ones does it have? Count the ones and check how many ones we've got. Brilliant, well done. It's got nine ones. Excuse my wobbly writing. Fantastic. A new challenge for you now. So I've got four digits. We've got number four, number six, number three and number eight. And we're going to make some two digit numbers. We're only allowed to use these digits and we're only allowed to use them one time. What's the biggest two digit number you can make? Right, so the biggest two digit number, that's got to be the number that's got the most tens that you can have. Which one of these would have the most tens? That's right, 80. So if we used eight for 80, that would be the most amount of tens that we could have. Now we need to think about the ones. We want to have quite a lot of ones as well. We can't use number eight because we've used that one already. So which one of these numbers would have the most ones? Four ones, six ones, or three ones? Brilliant, that's right, six ones. So the biggest number that we can make is 86. You're right, well done. Let's have a look. What's the smallest two-digit number you can make? Right, we've got to use these numbers again. We can use any of them again. We can only use them one time. This time we've got to think of the smallest two-digit number. So I don't want many tens if I'm going to be doing a two-digit number. That's the smallest one. Which one's got the fewest? Three tens. So let's try three tens. And then I'm going to think about my ones. Eight? No, that would be too many ones. Six? Ah, four. Four's a smaller number. Let's have a look. 34. Do you think that's right? So our biggest two-digit number would be 86. And our smallest two-digit number would be 34. Well done. Let's have a look at some hundreds numbers. We haven't looked at many hundreds numbers yet since we've been in year two. Can anybody read this number? If you can, whisper it to somebody next to you. It's 476. Repeat after me. 476. Fantastic. Let's see how many hundreds there are in 476. 476 is 400. It's got four hundreds in it. What's the tens number in 476? Have a think. Tens number is 70. Fantastic. And then the ones number is... Let's have a look here as a clue. Six. Brilliant. So we've got 476. So 476 has got how many hundreds? Do I write 400 in here? Let's have a look. Has it got 400? hundreds. That can't be right. It hasn't got 400 hundreds. Let's rub it out. How many hundreds does it have? <sighs> That's right. It has four hundreds. I can look at this digit here to tell me that it's got four hundreds. Quite tricky to do my H there. 
400. Brilliant. How many tens has it got? It hasn't got 70 tens. It's got, let's have a look, seven tens. Brilliant, seven tens. And how many ones? Whisper to the person next to you. Great work. It's got six ones. Fabulous maths, guys. Do one more of those. So this time we've got 712. I've done this bit for you already. We've got 700, 10 and two ones. That makes 712. How many hundreds are there in 712? That's right. It's got seven hundreds in it. Seven hundred has got seven hundreds. Fabulous work today. Well done. I think you have a really good understanding of place value. What I'd like you to do now is do some work in your book. And I'd like you to do page six to start with. That's just some reading and a reminder of what we've been doing together now. And then you've got some working out to do on page seven. If you can do that for me and then put it onto Class Dojo, that would be fabulous. Great work, everybody. Well done.